I wanted to know what is the meaning of life. Um, why we're here, the purpose and everything. So, so then, the month of Ramadan came. It's the fasting month for the Muslims. And I thought, okay, you know, since if I ever want to know this lifestyle is going to suit me, I should really give fasting a shot. Maybe if I give up halfway, and then that's it. So I tried to fast, and surprisingly, I did. The whole 30 days of fasting. Wow. And uh, somewhere, nearing the end of Ramadan, I had a dream. This is really actually the turning point. I dreamt that I was walking towards someone who seated in the middle of the living room along a hallway. I have to walk I was walking towards him and he was sitting there patiently smiling. He had this radiant light. I could tell that you know he's just a person yeah. and a kind soul. And he was just smiling at me directly and he said Brother, when are you going to be part of the family? Wow. And I woke up. Ah, uh, initially I thought, you know, this been studying too much about the religion, you know, I might be getting my head too far in yeah. that uh, okay. it's probably acting out in my dreams. But on the same day I had a friend call me out for dinner. His name is Ibrahim mm -hmm. and that's when I had dinner with him and he said, Hey, I heard that you've You've been going to that Muslim convert center, studying about the religion and understanding about Islam. So, when are you planning to be a Muslim, brother? So I thought, this must be a coincidence, you know. Just when I had a dream and my friend asked me out for dinner and he asked me the same question, I was still quite stubborn thinking that this is just pure coincidence. And I went on with my daily life, but the same dream happened again. And this time I remember the exact day and time. It was a Saturday morning around 9.30. I had the same dream and I woke up. I woke up and I said to myself, No, this can't be happening again, you know, it must be something. Mm. Or someone is telling me something. Yeah. And uh, I decided at that point of time to test God. Mm. I said a prayer before I started to ask for, for directions in life, you know. So I said, I sat down, I just closed my eyes, I put my hands together like this and said, Dear God, I know you exist and you're the most powerful and you can make anything possible because I truly and fully believe in your supremacy and power. You can most certainly show me the way in life and the truth and I seek your infinite wisdom and power to show me the way. Please." With all my heart, I sincerely seek, I seek your help in this. Please, let me know if, you know, is Islam truly the religion for me? Or should I just go back to being who I was? I said I'm going to test you, unfortunately. I'm going to take a Bible and a Quran wow. and put it beside me. I'm going to <laughs> randomly flip those pages three times. And the first thing that I see, it has to be crystal clear a message for me, saying to me, this is the truth, this is the way, this is who you should follow. It has to be that simple. So I'm going to start with the Bible because that's where I start. You know I was baptized, so I'm going to start with the Bible. So I picked up the Bible and I randomly just flipped the page. It wasn't the first page, it was somewhere in between. And it just did not tell me. A very clear picture. I had to decipher and to read everything in between and come to a conclusion and all. I said, okay, you know, this is not what I want. I want something clear, like this is it, you know. So I close the book and I randomly flip the next page, like somewhere in between a few more pages down. It's totally random. And again, I did not see an answer. So I did three times. Three times and I wasn't given an answer. I put the book aside and you know what? It's time to give the Quran a chance to tell me. Next thing I did was I randomly closed my eyes and opened the book. And the first thing, the first thing I saw was this verse from Surah Al Hajj, verse 54. <laughs> 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wa niya'lam al-lazina utu al-ilma annahu al-haqq min rabbika fayu'minu bihi fatukhbita lahu kulubuhum Wa inna Allah lahadhi al-lazina amanu ila siratim mustaqim So basically it says And so those who were given knowledge We know that it is the truth from your Lord And therefore believe in it And their hearts humbly submit to it And indeed is Allah the God of those who have believed to a straight path. I thought maybe it's just still a coincidence, you know. I was kind of like in a state of denial. Mm. And uh, so I closed the book and I randomly open up another page of the book and it's totally from another chapter altogether. My eyes sit on the next verse and it's surah which is chapter 41 and verse 53. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سنريهم ما ياتنا في الآفاك وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق أولم يخف بربك أنه على كل شيء شهيد We will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth but is it not sufficient concerning your Lord, that he is over all things a witness. Just paraphrasing what he's saying is like, have I not shown you the signs in the world? Do you still want to question who is your Lord? It was like the second verse was responding to the first one. It's almost like he was speaking directly to me. Like God was speaking directly to me. So I felt shiver down my spine and I was a bit of... I was kind of afraid and at the same time amazed, you know, from that test. And I, I was, then quickly apologized and said I was sorry, I was, I'm sorry for testing you, Lord. But could you please forgive me and accept me as one of your believers? You know, it was like a tremendous feeling of, a wave of tears that's like, that came straight from inside your heart. Suddenly all that God is down and I felt his presence was just there and it was there all along and so I I said you know I can't deny now that I've been shown the truth I have to I have I have to take a step forward you know but I want to get something right. Like, I'm kind of confused in some aspect. If he was a Christian before, how come he's able to recite the Quran perfectly well? Because he's reciting it in Arabic or not even in English. So that is what I want to understand. Is it that he was not really a full Christian or what? Because, and me, I also believe that no, well, well, that's the only one I'm particular about, him reciting the Quran well. That's beautiful, that's beautiful, that's a beautiful story, testimony, and you know, amazing, 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 nice. So thank you so much for watching guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more, like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.